Alright, so that I don't have to reach eight feet up to uh, assemble this antenna, I use a little piece of PVC with a screw in it. And uh, it's only about six and a half feet tall. I put the hub up with the SO239 pointed down and tighten it up with the bolt. Okay. I'll take care of that. And then uh, I start putting poles in. And I put them with the little loop down. It doesn't have to be down. It could be up. Just put them all the same way, either up or down. You can add some stills too if you need them. Alan, uh, if you want to hand me the poles and you go ahead and do the rest of them. These are just half inch uh, fiberglass poles from uh, the pole guy. Oh, this might not be loose enough. From the pole guy. The pole guy, yeah. As opposed to the wire man. As opposed to the wire man. The pole guy, Max Gain Poles out in Marietta. So we have wire man and pole guy. What more do you need? All right, well, what I need is the end of that. So while he puts the last one in there, I'm going to go ahead and start. Uh, Oh, you're still working on it. Well, I just, your timing was good. I just finished. Okay. So we got the SO239, as soon as he gets through putting that in there, I'm going to show the camera. We got the SO239 right here. Okay. So I'm going to come out on this one. And go through here and start feeding the wire around, all the way around. And, uh, Alan, you want to do the next one? Sure. Yeah, we gotta feed that through. Let's go ahead and feed it through that loop. Although it's not critical, it's good. And keep going around loops. Go all the way around. And you know what you can do? You can stay in one place and turn the poles around. Yeah. Yeah, it's closer to the sun where it's hot. And on that one, we come back to the specialist. That's a dangerous thing to have all those poles under my feet. There we go. On that one, we come back to this. I need to turn it around a little bit, though, so that I can get... Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to turn that out of the way. And this is the part that always scares me. What if I drop the stupid screw? The nut, I mean. It's a wing nut. You have I... another one in your pocket, right? No, I don't. And I should. I should have a little bag of parts for this. So you need to put a fork terminal on that instead of a ring terminal. And then you can just loosen it just a little bit, slide the fork terminal in, and then tighten it back up without ever uh, taking is, the nut off. That is true. That's probably a good idea, and I haven't, my, my haven't thought to do that. Okay. Now, next step to making this operational is take this little piece of bungee. Paracord, is it? Or bungee? bungee. It's bungee, okay. Eighth-inch bungee cord. <laughs> Of its stability. It pulls these together and tightens up the wires. That's all. There you go. And all we gotta do is put a cable on it, raise it up. So it comes back. I had, I had stuff on there, but it's just, it's just that's corrosion. not the same. It's not the same. And he said, well, this is what my boss told me to use. I'll tell him you. Come on, and I saw it, so I, so, so what the? Me How about, yeah, so let's keep it. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that on there. Not at 20. Not at 20 feet, we don't need guys, do we? I think 20 is the best way to open up. Yeah, actually. Hey, let's get a little slack.
What's your name and call sign? What's well, Bill, WR1TR. Thanks, Bill.